assemble the needed supplies, review the healthcare provider's order and or the student's individual health plan, wash your hands, perform a respiratory assessment. The respiratory assessment should be an ongoing process to determine how well the student is tolerating the procedure and the amount of time and suction attempts that are clinically indicated. Given the urgency and needs of the student, position the student to provide for the most privacy. Students in wheelchairs or other supportive seating devices can remain sitting upright or reclined up to but not exceeding 45 degrees. Explain the procedure to the student at a level the student understands. Turn on the suction machine and check for its function. Ensure the suction machine has the appropriate level of pressure. Standard maximal pressure for children ranges from 80 to 100 millimeters of mercury. Put on clean gloves. Attach the top of the catheter to the suction tubing. Hold the suction catheter at the absolute length of catheter insertion, also known as the measured length. Each student will have their own absolute length of catheter insertion. When suctioning, the catheter should not be inserted deeper than the absolute length of catheter insertion. Lubricate the catheter with normal saline. Remove the artificial nose and insert the catheter while gently rotating within the cannula with or without applying suction. This is based on how the procedure is completed in the home setting and the healthcare provider's order. Advance the catheter into the tracheostomy tube to the measured length. Twirl the catheter between your fingers as it is pulled out of the tracheostomy tube. Remember when the suction catheter is inserted into the tracheostomy tube, the student's airway is occluded. Total suction time should not exceed five seconds. After removing the suction catheter from the tracheostomy tube, suction a small amount of sterile saline with the suction catheter to clear away any residual debris or secretions. Repeat the suctioning until secretions are removed. Be sure to note the color, the presence of odor, and the consistency of the secretions. If you will be discarding the catheter after use, suction the nose and or mouth with the same catheter in the same way. If you are reusing the catheter for tracheostomy suctioning, use a separate catheter to suction the mouth and nose. Rinse the suction catheter with half-strength hydrogen peroxide or vinegar water. Then rinse the catheter with sterile water or follow the procedure used by the family. Place the artificial nose back on the tracheostomy. Place the suction catheter in a clean container. The suction catheter can be used for up to eight hours. Remove your gloves. Assess the student's respiratory status. Rinse the suction machine tubing with tap water. Wash your hands. Document the assessment, the procedure, and the outcomes in the student's healthcare record. Report any concerns to the parent and or healthcare provider, such as green or yellow, or foul-smelling secretions. Replenish the supplies as needed.